In this video, I'm gonna to react to the worst rocket failures and explosions. another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. Now, this is gonna be an interesting uh, video for me just because as someone who has had a long time obsession with, you know, space exploration, you know, exploring new planets, hopefully one day, a video like this, you know, as unfortunate as it is, these things happen. You know, not every rocket launch is successful. And obviously prior to uh, the, uh, I, I believe, the, was it the first rocket launch to the moon which was in the uh, 60s you know there were there were countless failures you know that had to be done for us to sort of prove the technology to to test it out and you know just knowing that so much money goes into every launch I believe um the space shuttle each launch of the space shuttle cost something like I think it was 1.1 billion dollars or something like that it's just an astronomical amount of money so to see you know a launch be aborted uh, a rocket destroyed or exploding you know it hurts any fan of space travel but these things happen and it's going to be fun for me to see the worst ones so let's go this is going to be me reacting to the worst rocket failures and explosions let's do it ah, this should be fun Quick sip of tea. Man, look at that. Oh no. Look at the size of that fireball. Just pure destruction. There were a number of failures during the year. And the United States promptly announced them. Oh the no, first, it didn't generate enough thrust, I feel. Of these was Vanguard at the end of 1957. My goodness. There were other Vanguard failures. All achieved takeoff, but trouble occurred either in the second or third stages. I would imagine that the the size of these fireballs is a result of, you know, virtually no fuel has been expended at this point it's it's still full of fuel so you've got all that explosive material just going boom explorers two and five beacon and pioneer two were also considered unsuccessful experiments ten nine eight seven six five four start coming one Go inertia. Oh no, it's not. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. The possibility what that happened? trouble may develop with the Atlas or the Redstone during the countdown or during the takeoff is looked squarely in the eye by the astronauts and the engineers behind Project Mercury. Is that CO2 being this booster was not a Mercury there? vehicle. But imagine the worst possible situation for the astronaut. That his capsule is now mounted on top of this Atlas. What's going on? The escape rocket takes the capsule away from the booster. Good lord. You've just got to hope nobody was nearby. Jeez Louise. CBC slow initiated. T minus 10 seconds. Well, this one is. This one is recent. Five, four, three. Two, oh god, one. what's gonna happen here? Oh no, what's going on? And okay. No. Oh my god. Look at the light. Look at the amount of light. Gosh. And launch team, launch team, be advised, stay at your consoles. Everyone in the LCC, maintain your positions in your consoles. In the LCC, Good maintain grief. positions at your console. Terrifying. That noise. 
noise, that noise the rocket produces is just that, that deep grumble. Looking good, looking nominal so far. It's not looking straight. Oh dear. That's fuel. Is that fuel? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I've not seen this footage before. Oh my word. Where's it going? Where is it going? Oh my god. It's going head first. This is unbelievable. Wow. Wow. That has to be like worst scenario. That's nightmare scenario right there. meters of that that's bad news because that material has gone everywhere everywhere oh my lord that was huge huge A missile. Good. Enormous looking thing. Then a failure occurred involving one engine. Oh, yeah, and shortly to thereafter, another engine also lost power. It was therefore necessary for the range safety officer to destroy the missile by remote control. Mm. Here we go, any second now. Are we not going to get an explosion? How do you dis- yeah, how do you dispose of something? There we go. There we go. Debris from the missile fell on the test base and in the sea just offshore from the base. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have ignition and liftoff of America's silent hero, the Air Force Titan IV. This is the final Titan so far, IV to so be good. So far, so good. The vehicle has rolled to the proper flight azimuth. We're at T plus. Looking good, looking nominal. 19, 20 seconds. Currently, the twin solid rocket motors are performing nominally. Looking good. At least it's got to a good altitude before it, <laughs> before it inevitably explodes. And there we go. 
Oh, look no. at that. Look at that display. Look at the scattering of the debris. Wow. It's literally been blown into a million pieces. That is crazy. Decollage. The lights, I mean, the, 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 the lights coming out of the, uh, you know, the base of the rocket just look so cool. So powerful. It's just the thrust, the amount of thrust. Thirty-seven seconds into the launch, the onboard computers decided 501 was 90 degrees off course. Raining debris, rain and metal. Falcon 9, SpaceX. T plus one minute. Altitude. I love the sleek design of the Falcon 9s. Speed 290 meters well. per second, downrange distance 1.1 kilometers. Hopefully the Starship gets us to Mars. That'd be awesome. For the space colony. Vehicle supersonic. Recovery drone ship has AOS. Vehicles reach maximum aerodynamic pressure. I, I, I'd 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 propulsion is still nominal. Assuming it's uh, built in my lifetime, <laughs> the space colony. Power and closure remain maybe, nominal. Maybe go for like a couple years. So far, so good with the Falcon Nine. That fuel burn. Looks beautiful. Impact chill has begun. T plus two minutes. Just Altitude 32 kilometers. Fire. Speed one kilometer per second. Downrange distance 13 kilometers. A kilometer per second. Per second. Reaching max Q probably. Eddie coming back. Shows the vehicle Q. on course, on track. There. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Just blown to smithereens. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Delta 178 and the GOES G satellite. Nine. Looks powerful, this thing. Looks extremely powerful. It's burning a whole lot of fuel. That's a very smooth burn, look at that. Data looks very good, reported by Skip Mackey. We're now going to the Max Q region. The six solid strap on boosters will continue to burn until T plus 60 seconds. At that time, the vehicle will be traveling at a velocity of almost 1400 miles per hour. And we have burn out of six solid rocket motors. Okay. So is it now going to detach? Ignited. And the first three have been jettisoned. So, oh, first it was a malfunction. Oh, it looked oh, like the oh. nose came apart. Oh, no. We have a main engine shutdown. It must be so disappointing. All that work, all those months, years often of work. We show a premature suppose, main engine shutdown. Premature main engine shutdown. It's not easy to achieve what these guys are trying to achieve. You know, rocket technology, you know, space exploration is probably one of the most difficult challenges the human race will probably ever face. You know, creating the vehicles that can take us, machinery, you know, out into the solar system. You know, these things 
it's not easy to do. So all I can say is hats off to the engineers, the scientists behind each and every one of those launches. You know, your work wasn't for nothing. We we wouldn't be where we are today without, you know, some of these uh, unfortunate explosions. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and keep throwing the recommendations my way. I know I say it all the time, but they genuinely help me out because if I know you enjoyed watching something, I'll definitely enjoy reacting to it. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep throwing the recommendations, and I'll catch you in the next one.